Good day, students. Uh, in this clip, we're going to be going over an example on how to solve a triangle using uh, the law of cosines. So let's go ahead and write down the um, the problem. So for example one, what we're going to do is uh, solve, solve triangle ABC. Triangle ABC where a little a is 26. Little b is 18, and lowercase c is 24. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the shape of, of the situation, um, and then label it accordingly. So we're going to draw a triangle ABC. All right, so uh, we have uh, uppercase A, and then the opposite side, lowercase A, which is 26, uppercase B, and then lowercase B, which is 18, and then uppercase C, and lowercase C, which is 24. All right, so um, what formula are we going to use here? Clearly, we're going to use the law of cosines. Now, when do you know which formula to use? There's a real quick review. For law of sines, you can use law of sines when you have a situation where you have uh, two sides in a non-included angle, SSA or ASS, or when you have um, two angles in, in a side, okay? So if you have SSA and AAS, you can um, easily use law of sines. But law of cosines, law of cosines, um, it applies to scenarios where you have side, angle, side, two sides, and an included angle, or just SSS. Okay, whenever you apply law of science to these two scenarios, you, you will um, always end up with a case where you can create an SSA problem, okay, in a certain configuration. So in this problem, you can clearly see that we have um, side, 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 this is an SSS situation. We're going to be using this formula, and then we'll, we'll be able to find one angle, and then we'll be able to create SSA. So we'll use law of cosines first to find an angle, then we'll switch to law of sines, and then we'll then use the triangle angle sum theorem to find the third angle. All right? So, if you try to even blindly apply the law of sines to this situation, you find out that you can't even use the law of sines because um, you do not have a pair that can be used to set up the second side of the equation. So we have no choice but to use the law of cosines. So let's go ahead and... Uh, pick an angle to find, we can find A, B, or C. So how about we just find find um, angle A. Okay, so why did we choose to find angle A? Um, it's, it's just the first angle that I chose. I, it doesn't really matter which one you pick, you can pick any one. So I'm going to start with angle A. Now, uh, since we're really use, uh, using angle A in the law of cosines, we have three choices. So let's do a real quick review of the formulas for law of cosines. Uh, we have a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine uppercase a. And then we have b square equals a square plus c square minus 2ac cosine uppercase b. And uh, c square equals uh, a square a square. plus b square minus 2ab cosine b uppercase c, okay? So which formula do we use for uppercase, to find uppercase a? This is the only formula that has uppercase a in it, so we're going to use this formula right here, okay? So to find uh, uppercase a, we're going to use the formula a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine a. All right, let's substitute the values that we know. Uh, we're going to plug in uh, lowercase a. We have 26 square equals 18 square plus, plus 24 square minus 2 times 18 times 24 cosine uppercase a. Okay? Now, to limit the amount of um, things we're plugging into our calculators, I'm going to get cosine a by itself. And then now uh, we'll plug in the other expression in the calculator. So 
what I'm going to do first is subtract 18 square and 24 square from both sides. So we'll have uh, 26 square minus 18 square minus 24 square equals negative 2 times 18 times 24 cosine A. Now to isolate uh, cosine A, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 times 18 times 24. So let's go ahead and carry out that division. Divide both sides by um, negative 2 times 18 times 24. On both sides, negative 2 times 18 times 24. And then we're left with uh, cosine A because this is all, all these divide out right here. This divides out, that divides out, and then this divides out. So we have cosine A using the reflective property of equality equals 26 square minus 18 square minus 24 square. All of that divided by uh, divided by negative 2 times 18 times 24. Okay, now let's bring out our calculators and plug um, this entire expression into the calculator to see what we get. So we have uh, to be careful with our grouping so that we do not have a grouping error, an arithmetic error. So parentheses for the numerator to separate it from the denominator. Uh, 26 square minus 18 square minus 24 square. All that divided by parentheses. Now I use this negative right here, not a minus. So negative 2 uh, times 18 times 24. Close out the denominator. Enter. We have 0.2593. Okay. So cosine A equals 0.2593. Cosine A uh, is approximately 0.2593. So to get cosine by itself, we're going to take um, the inverse cosine of both sides. So we're going to take the inverse cosine of cosine A. Remember, you always have to put your inverse to the left, okay? So on the, on the left, we have the inverse cosine of cosine A. On the right, we're going to take the inverse cosine of this um, approximate value of this expression, which is 0 0.2593, okay? On the left side, the cosine and the inverse cosines cancel out some of your inverse operations. And then we'll have A is approximately uh, let's plug that into our calculators. Let's see what we get. Um, let's see. It's going to be uh, the inverse cosine, second function cosine of the previous answer. So second function negative will pull up the previous answer we had. To be more accurate, enter 74.9739. So A is approximately angle A is approximately 74.939 degrees. All right, now we have found uh, angle A. Now we can go ahead and find another angle. How about we look for, we find um, angle B. Okay, so let's put angle A back into our, into our sh uh, sh shape. So angle A is 74. 9739. I want to find angle B. So now we can use the law of sines since we already we can have we have two sides and an angle. So notice here we can use SSA or we can use the other direction SSA to find uh to find angle B. Okay, so SSA or yeah SSA in that orientation. So let's go ahead and look for angle B. So to do that we're gonna do sine of big B over little b, which we're looking for big B first, equals the other ratio we know is the A's, right? So sine of big A over little a. Okay, so let's plug in the values. We're going to have sine of B over little b is 18 equals sine of the previous answer we got, which is the value of angle A, 74.9739 divided by 
lowercase a, which is 26. Now let's get sine b by itself. What we're going to do is multiply both sides by 18. 18 and 18. This cancels out. So we're going to have um, sine b equals, now let's plug in this entire expression into our calculators. So we're going to have um, 18 sine, well let's put that in a parenthesis in the numerator so we can group it properly. 18 sine, the previous answer we had, let's call it up, 74.9739. So close that up, close out the uh, angular argument and close the numerator divided by 26. Enter, 0.6686. Okay, so that's the approximate value of uh, sine b. So um, sine b is approximately 0.6686. So to get b isolated, we're going to take the inverse sine of both sides. We're not multiplying here, we're taking the inverse sine uh, of both sides. Okay, so the inverse sine of sine b on the left is approximately on the right, the inverse sine of 0.6686, okay? So on the left side, it's inverse sine and sine cancels out. So we end up with uh, uppercase B is approximately, now let's plug this into our calculators. So we'll have uh, the inverse sine of our previous answer, second function negative, enter, and we have 41.9619. So angle B is approximately 41.9619 degrees. All right, so now that we have two angles, let's put that in here, 41.9619. We can find the last one using um, elementary geometry, the triangle angle theorem, right? So to find uh, angle C, to find angle C, we're going to go uh, angle C equals 180 minus the sum of the other two angles, MB, 74.9739 plus 41.9619. All right, so angle C is going to be approximately, let's plug that into our calculators. So we have uh, 180 minus. 74.9739 plus, let's call up our previous answer. Close that. Final answer is 63.0642. Okay, so 63.0642 degrees is our measure for angle C. All right, so let's go ahead and organize all our answers together. These are our solutions. So our solutions are um, angle A is approximately 74.9739. Angle B degrees. Angle B is approximately uh, 41.9619 degrees. And angle C is approximately 63.0642 degrees. So. There goes your, your three um, angular measures for the triangle on the consideration. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Or feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And uh, if you can like the video if you liked it. Uh, please post a comment to let me know what you think. I really appreciate that. More clips can be found on my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.